hi there welcome to my channel rkb tutorials today uh, in this video we will be learning how to create variables and how to use the assign activity in the dialog box and things like that but more or less we will be concentrating on creating variables and shortcuts of creating variables so it's a very simple video we will go through this example so let's get started i'll create a new sequence and name it as demo variable variables and I'll create it okay now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the user about his name so I'll use input dialog and here I will say hi and then I will say please in double quotes please enter your name okay now let's simply run this and see what is happening now if you see okay the hi has come on the input dialog box on the title of the page and this is where it's asking please enter your name okay let's say I'm entering a name here now I have not declared a variable so anyways it's not going to store any in any of the variable because there is no variable declared if you come to variable panel so now let's declare a variable panel in the in the so let's type control k so control k with a shortcut to create a variable control and k okay this is where it will say set variable you can type a name so this is a username so i will say user name but uh, using control k sometimes the challenge with this one is it is going to have a generic variable type the data type is generic variable a uh, generic value so i'm going to change this to string okay done this is one way now what what will happen uh, the username will contain whatever we are entering in the input dialog box. let's see that now to see this i'm going to use a message box okay now here i'm going to just type the variable name so variable name here is user name so hit on tab so username has come now let's see what is happening again i will save it and run this workflow so it's asking please enter your name and i'm entering my name let's say rakesh and hit okay and you can see the message box is populating what we have entered now uh, initially when we have run that was not storing in any variable now there is a container which is containing the name whatever the user is entering okay this is quite simple now we'll go a little deeper now next thing I'm going to do is let's say I'm going to ask enter another input dialog box okay now this one will be slightly complicated what I'm going to do is I want to say Rakesh so whatever name is entering it should take that name and it should ask the next question What is the country? Uh, what is the name of your country, right? So how do you do that? So we know the name is stored in the variable So for variable we do not have to use any quotes So I will just say username so it will take the first name whatever his customer is entering after that I'll use a plus sign and in between the quotes comma and plus sign so after comma you can give a little space so you can just type a space here okay and then I'm asking my next question what is the name of your country got it so we'll see how this would appear okay I'm just running it so let's run this okay now please enter your name let's say I'm entering some other name let's say Bharat okay um, let's say Deepak okay so I'm entering Deepak click okay now you can see it's asking Deepak what is the name of your country right so this is quite exciting right it takes the name so this is what we did just by this by putting the variable name plus in double quotes comma with a space what's the name of the country now this one should again take a container so I will tell you the another way of doing it okay so this is the variable panel here I can create a variable so I'll just say country name and I'll declare the variable the data type will be string okay done 
Now I am going to assign this country name variable here to the second input dialog box. If you see this here, I am going to say country name. Okay, so now the country name will contain. Now, uh, so now I want to say uh, the final message of this should be Rakesh stays in India. So that should be my final. So what I will do, I'll use another activity called assign. Okay. Now, in this assign, I am going to keep it just above the message box and let's say I want to have a joiner, right? Some sent so I will do again control K, joiner sentence, okay? This is the variable name and I am going to give a sentence stays in. So here I am going to type in double quotes stays in, alright? So now this is the tricky one how do I join everything all the variables and get my final message so now stays in is that a string type did I declare it string type no it's a generic value so this one you should remember anytime you are using a control key please come back and check once okay now it is declared all I have to do now is join so first I want to say the username right so I will type the username variable plus I want to give a comma so I'll use a double quote comma and give a space after comma and then plus then I have to use stays in right so stays in is there in the variable joiner sentence okay joiner sent so this is the variable okay plus after this I want to give another space just a space so just I will type a space again plus sign and the country so country name is India right so Rakesh join stays in the country name will be in this variable so the variable doesn't require a quote so I'll just type country name got it all right so finally let's run this and see how it is appearing okay so let's say use some other name let's say John click OK so now you can see it's saying John, what is the name of your country? Let's say it's typing Germany. Okay, click OK. So my final message says John, comma space stays in Germany. John stays in Germany. Yeah. So this is how you can set variables and work along with the variables. So thank you for watching this video. In case you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. That that way will give me more hope to create more exciting videos for you. Thank you for watching this. Thank you. Have a good day.